All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and yes, the microphone's plugged in. Yeah, so I still have to figure out how to deal with the late night snacking. Uh, I still, I'm still gonna be losing weight, right? Because watching those calories ca uh, carefully. So, um, you know, at least I'm good on that front. Also, my inflammation. I mean, it flared up a little bit yesterday, but for the now for quite some time now, like a week, it's actually gotten a lot better. All right. So uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So yeah, it's clearly working, right? I just got to uh, just keep dropping the weight, and then uh, you know all should be normal. So uh, yeah. So anyway, it's starting to affect my sleep a little bit, but you know I feel okay. But you know I'll have to. Uh, I, I really have like I think my body just wants more food. Like I just uh, like it just simply needs more food now. So it's uh, I'm gonna try to figure something out about it. So we're up to Cloud World number three thirty eight. Uh, let's see if we're gonna put these on and uh, yeah not really much you know actually I just want to be uh, just really thinking and meditating to be honest so because um, now because uh, I actually took yesterday off from coding so that's two days off in a row so you know give my brain some time to really rest and um, this is on worldwide now right yeah and now um, what you call it yeah, like now that I realize that the story, like I'm going to be using the video game to tell the story. So the story comes first and the story comes from God. So now I have to like, you know, uh, really make sure that everything is kind of tight. And then now I have to actually start thinking about these things uh, so I can, you know, create like craft a pretty decent narrative. Uh, you know, if, if it turns out that the game requires like different bits and pieces of story that's going to be inconsistent with the show itself, then, you know, then that's fine. The show always takes priority, right? Because that's essentially God's message or gift or whatever you want to call it. So I can always just go into the game and then at readjust the text, especially since a lot of the quest givers initially will be given by my character personally. So obviously I can voice it, right? So... Uh, it'll be pretty easy to change. And of course, since everything's like pictures or animated, well, I don't ever have to worry about, you know, getting different actors or actresses. I just got to get people that sound, you know, appropriate for the role. And I have to switch actors or actresses. Then they have to not only be appropriate, but also sound very similar to the original character. Um, so people don't really, because like, if you watch South Park from like the first few episodes and compare it to how Cartman uh, and then like how Cartman now sounds like 20, 23 years later, however long South Park has been running, you'll see that uh, uh, he actually does sound different. But if you actually watch it from beginning to end, I don't know how you'll watch all that content, you'll never actually notice uh, Cartman's voice changing. Um, so that, that, that's what we're going for. Uh, Cartman... Voice actors all. Uh, wait, that's that what they said? Oh, wait, so Trey Parker does do Carbon. So why the hell do people say uh, several returning characters? Wait, so Trey Parker does actually do all of Carbon. So why did he sound a little different? So why the hell did I read that was different? Oh, I know Arthas. Actually, I know Arthas from World of Warcraft uh, was uh, two different actors. Google said it was three. Um, that chef man, Boogie Tillman. Oh, that's his spouse. She's actually pretty decent looking. So, I mean, I don't know. Do I, st I mean, I think I still do that, right? The measure of a man is, you know, you know how decent looking his wife is. Get, uh, with taking age into account, because after a while, you know, you know, women just stop looking decent after around. 50, 60, because you're getting older, so you have to ease up a lot. So she does happen to look really good for that age. Uh, then you really know that her man probably is, you know, pr pretty manly, right? Or right? should be manly. Um, let's see. I don't know. Who else Who else would there be? I don't know. But either way, um, all right. So I guess, uh, I, guess I, was, I read fake news. You know, Carmen was voiced by the same guy this whole time. <laughs> but uh, either way, like... At least I can do that with voice acting, right? But with, uh, you know, real life acting, oh, that's just going to be practically impossible. And that's actually why the unions have so much pull because actors, you know, they have very big egos. 
They tend to be obviously left wing dominated, dominated, and they obviously have a warped view or just simply a hatred of God. So Satan is their daddy, as Jesse likes to say. So ego is in charge, and that means they want more shit, and then they don't care about anything else except themselves. And uh, you know, it's just like it's just not a fun situation to be in, right? I I have extra gray hair is precisely because of the, my movie. So so now I know that. Um, so uh, yeah. So, I don't know, maybe it wasn't such a waste I made my movie. I mean, technically, it would have made a lot of money. The problem is I, uh, you know, had a little go too hardcore on, you know, the pro-Trump stuff. But, um, I mean, I guess it will be fine, right? Because I was actually charging 10 bucks at one point for the movie. Uh, and people actually did buy it. So, uh, so, I definitely know that the movie business, once you get everything set up for correctly, could actually make a lot of money. Right, so it always comes down to marketing. That's fifty percent, but the other fifty percent is your product better be damn good, right? Because you have the best marketing in the world, but if your movie sucks, if your marketing sucks, you know, unless you're like CBS with their new shitty Picard show, right? You have like billions of dollars to just throw away, right? Because you know certain foreign governments are funding you. Um, that cannot be criticized at this time. Well, uh, yeah, you know, you can you can do that, but the point is you're still losing a lot of money. You know, I don't have that kind of funding. So anyway, uh, that's what I'm th thinking about. You know, try to slow down a bit because right now I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Well, not overwhelmed with the information, but I, I definitely need a rest. So Bitcoin's at 11 worldwide. So we don't have data for this week. And we've now adjusted to uh, worldwide instead of the United States. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, Bitcoin is still kind of recovering from yesterday's little sell-off. It looks pretty good though. So uh, Bitcoin dominance is at 63.2 percent. Uh, 24-hour bonds 124.2 billion. Bitcoin looks to be, uh, along with all cryptos, stabilizing. So now it's uh, about to approach 10 grand again. So this looks very good. Uh, it had a nice little dip, uh, and then now it's flatlining or stabilizing. Very good bullish sign. That's what we always want to see. Looks like Bitcoin Cash and SV are doing something similar. Litecoin's at 75.70. So yeah, we're all Tamaguchi here. We're all very good here. So uh, everything's on the up and up. Uh, Doggy Coins at 374 million market cap, essentially. And let's see. Uh, Steam. Steam is at 21.10 cents. It's actually up 6.28%. Very nice, very nice. Maybe I need to play my, uh, I forgot what it's called, DrugWars.io game again for Steam, but, uh, yeah. So, can is shit, which is, yeah. Good but coin trust hardly up. Yeah, this, like, these two stocks are, like, completely worthless. All right, you know what? I'm going to throw away can. We're not going to track that anymore. We're going to track uh, Bitcoin trust. If after like three, four months it doesn't do anything, we'll just, you know, drop that too. And then we're going to have to just use Ledger X. Uh, which sucks. Um, all right, so JMC is at three to four. It's really not a lot of trade activity right now because you obviously can't, you know, it's still under maintenance. Uh, I'm still trying to get Mitch to try to fix it, but I mean, still he's still having other issues to deal with. So I mean, it, it's just going to be broken for a while. I just have to hope that Cracks, you know, won't get too angry, and then you know, I mean, they've been pretty chill about it. So uh, you know, so yeah. Anyway, uh, 404 is at 11 to 12, so it looks like everything's stabilizing around 11 to 12. Uh, after yesterday's sell-off, uh, you know, 2x2 two two and 4x4 four four co 404 coin, uh, you know, trade value has actually been pretty low. Uh, today, it's actually much better, and 2x2's trade volume is, like, uh, pretty good. So, uh, so I think the markets are finally coming back, and today's Tuesday, so it should be a nice full week. So anyway, uh, 404 should be rising. We'll see what this latest uh, burst of, uh, you know, uh, buy orders, once it floods back into 404, uh, we'll see how, how far it goes. But usually it's been up to like 30 to 40 million. So that would put it all the way up to around 18 and 19. So uh, yeah, so that'll be pretty nice. Two by two, still pretty stable at 69 to 73. It looks like that giant buy order has finally been taken out. Um, so, uh, let's see, uh, yep, somebody dumped a lot there, yep, someone dumped a lot. All right, well, uh, that's what happens, but uh, yeah, 2x2 two is two still going pretty strong, so uh, we'll be all right for a while. And compound coin, of course, not really doing much. 
4185 and 5100 satoshis of a dog coin all right so uh yeah uh, let's see what we got for news today uh didn't break the bullish trend four firms are controlled nearly the entire okay i don't care uh don't care uh central banks free money behind bitcoin bull run a portion of fresh cash liquidity supply by global central banks is to win the bitcoin okay so we might actually want to know about this uh excuse me why trump should avail a u.s answer to bitcoin around china uh china coin yes trump should do that see the thing is, see the thing i don't like about trump is his ego uh is really a problem it works pretty well in our case many times but it also works against us in this case trump's trump's not going to do anything until you bruise his ego so see at forbes because obviously trump is a money man and forbes is a money magazine uh yeah he'll read this and actually take this seriously and then he'll you know so this is actually good that forbes is actually you know kind of poking at donald trump to you know stop being a boomer and then start going you know cryptocurrency so that's that's uh, that's what we want we want america to you know go full crypto because we're still behind the curve and it's, and it's 100 percent due to people just not you know you know figuring out what the what the deal is uh here's a fake libertarian fake conservative uh organization the cato institute which i used to like but now they turn out to be uh you know fake conservative traders so they're 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 no better than the uh, far left robert shaw bitcoin by metalism uh blah 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 yeah so i'm not gonna give them the page view satoshi uh big okay we don't care about that bitcoin suffers shocking sell-off amid all right, all right first of all that's not a shocking sell-off uh and then william shatner says craig wright is a scamming asshole and that is true all right litecoin holders can now uh now i am interested in this litecoin holders can now earn up to 10 percent on their crypto via digital aster lender cred oh yeah well i usually want my stuff to be held uh no yeah and then i have to report that to the irs yeah i'm not, I'm not going to do that uh but that's still pretty nice though um yeah if you want to earn 10 percent, you don't really care about tax reporting i guess you could try these guys actually i guess we could take a look what's the name of their website just in case you guys want to take a look uh it says cred cred lends cryptocurrencies uh and they can own monthly interest payments by pledging crypto holdings for a six month term um I don't know. I'd be a little careful. Ten percent is a lot, right? Because what? Because because here's the thing: you can't enforce certain laws, right? So if you lend money, crypto, yeah, you'll damage their credit, but it's not recogn officially recognized by like Equifax and TransUnion and all the credit reporting bureaus. So I mean, you can't enforce. Yeah, I actually would stay away from this. I I, I realize. Yeah, I would stay away from this because. Like they'll start out legitimate but the problem is the people that they lend to they could just simply take the money and run and they'll have plenty of because btc pop also lends money uh, i guess they do an all right uh they do an okay job of um whatchamacallit uh, of enforcing it but I, I i wouldn't lend i would not lend uh money Shit, that makes me wonder is btc pop gonna blow up if a lot of people stop paying back their loans some of the biggest Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP holders that existed, move, uh, mass, okay, whatever. Uh, Bitcoin suggests, all right, uh, trader alert, phantom, okay. All right, so it looks like, wait, wait, what's this phantom? Warren's phantom, pushing price of big, okay, so yeah. All right, so it's just bullshit. All right, let's see what the uh, central bank money is doing. So Manny Greenspan, Quantum Economics, that's actually a pretty nice name for a uh, hedge fund. Private market out of total block to you that cryptocurrency more or less behaved like stocks that rose from okay and just three. He said central banks injected free money in the market to safeguard from potential problems and conflicts. Yes, Iran strikes, uh coronavirus and all that stuff. In fact, I haven't heard anybody talk about coronavirus in a while. So I'm gonna probably assume that everything's fine. Uh ish. Uh live updates, we take off okay 
And ambulances wait to take patients off virus ravage. Yeah, because here's the problem. People are, because I actually found that there are, people are confined to the cruise ship with no windows. No wonder people are going crazy. That's actually bad. So, you know, most people are healthy, but if you keep confining them, it's like you're going to infect everybody on purpose. For, you know, so you got to like quarantine, you got to move the people out because there are healthy people. So, you know, last thing you want to do is infect them. Quarantine order as cases are linked to a shopping center. Okay, coronavirus toll is now a thousand mainland China. Uh, are they're now printing new viral DNA? Coronavirus presents grave threat to world. Who chief warns us? Blah blah blah. It is now known as COVID-19. Uh, why the coronavirus can hurt Budweiser beer? Well, you shouldn't be drinking alcohol, so. Uh, UK coronavirus super spare fears. He's infected at least 11 poor people and he's white. Oh, so that's the second time I've seen a white person. Well, actually, SARS did infect white people. Well, it's still a very small percentage. Uh, Feds, Jerome Powell is monitoring the outbreak. Uh, how fear distorts our thinking about the coronavirus. Okay. Well, it's the New York Times, so I assume there's probably an article about, hey, don't, you know, uh, pigeonhole Asian people. Uh, so, so far, you know, when I walk out, I never have that problem at all. Nobody actually looks at it. But I think it's because, you know, I obviously look fine, right? I don't have the mask on. I'm not coughing. I'm not sneezing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, get a super spreader. Uh, oh, funny anecdote. One time I was on the subway, and there was this, like, you know, Chinese dude, and then like he was like, <gasps> right? He would sneeze, and I was like, get his all his crap all over. I was like, what the hell? And he didn't even care. <laughs> Imagine doing that now uh, in a crowded subway. And with, obviously, the subway was crowded, but you know, it wasn't. But we were we all had seats, right? And we're all just looking at it. I was like, what the hell? What the fuck's your problem? And he's like, oh, man. Uh, and, and, and then, like, yeah. So imagine doing that now with the coronavirus or as a Chinese person or Asian-looking person. Then people are just going to, like, freak out. You know, I can, I can already imagine a low-impulse, uh, you know, individual just, like, going up to the guy and just punching him in the face. Because, obviously, they're low-impulse. So that usually implies also low IQ. So... Uh, he doesn't realize that by doing that, he's actually increasing his risk dramatically of getting infected. You know, whether it's the flu or the coronavirus. Um, so uh, that's why you shouldn't be punching people. All right. So anyway, he said central banks, China, today, People's Republic, China already injected one seventy billion into their blah blah blah. You know, the central banks are giving markets free money and low interest rates. Da 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 da. Mr. Coronavirus. Mr. Greed Svetsovitz came after a string of reports today how fears of a full fledged corporate led risk on investors to the safety of hedging assets like Bitcoin. Okay. Um, believe it or not, Bitcoin and crypto used to do that, but now they go up and down with the markets too. Because if this is true, right? If Bitcoin is a hedge, why are the stock markets going up today along with this? Like it's pretty well correlated. So, I mean, right, and like you, you watch it, you know, you'll see many days where it acts like a hedge and many days it does not, which basically means it's not a hedge. Um, so, you know, that's how, see, that's, there's a reason why I try to teach people to be flexible and open-minded because, you know, you don't want uh, confirmation bias to screw you up, right? It's one of the things that I'm going to be worrying about as, you know, us conservatives take over the world because I can already see traces of you know christians basically just becoming just as uptight as the far left and then we'll never end this cycle and it's going to be like really freaking annoying right but you know that's why my game will be out and of course the story so it's degrees man partially disagree did you did you did by the cryptocurrency already it's like stock are also rose in tandem in 2020. um wait which greed scan oh yeah Okay, read Bitcoin's big bull rush. Okay, then we got technical stupid stuff. Okay, we don't read technicals because it's always bullshit. All right, so very good. So I don't even know what today's title is going to be. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash uh, the lemon factor uh, BTC. 
So, uh, yeah, smash that subscribe on the right-hand side of this page, and I'll try to get this channel to, uh, oh, yeah, we don't, we don't do that anymore. I don't need that. So, uh, yeah, just, just subscribe, because, because why not? So, anyway, enjoy your day or night. I'm obviously done for the day. Quiet day, short video-ish, right? Which is good, right? You know, because it's, because uh, right now there's not much to do. Just buy, hold, mine, and hoard. All right, what you want to be doing is hoarding. Hoard, hoard, hoard. Right, because this thing's just got started. So the longer you can delay selling, the better off you'll be. Fortunately for me, I might have to still sell a little bit of Litecoin just so I can get a little bit of money, but eh, we'll see. All right, oh, we need a thumbnail, don't we? Um, I like this thumbnail. This blue one's kind of nice too, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll go with this one. And yeah, it is now set.